Ladies and gentlemen, today in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys the best dribbles on NBA 2K25. If you have been struggling to get open, struggling to make a shot because you can't get open, in this video today, that's going to help you guys. All right, if you guys enjoy this video, drop a like. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. All right, so as y'all know, man, I'm pretty much going to be dropping a dribble tutorial as well in this video, if you've seen by the thumbnail and the title. So I'm going to try to give you guys best dribble moves for every height. And I'm going to show you guys how to dribble on two different guard builds in this video. So make sure you guys drop a like for that. All right. I'm going to show you guys a bunch of beginner moves. And then I'm going to show you guys a really, you know what I'm saying, advanced dribble move tutorial. Like the L2 cancel, the quick stop, all that stuff like that. Um, I'm dropping this video to help you guys out because I know a lot of people have been struggling to dribble. And to be honest with you, I just got the dribbling down. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's definitely a different learning curve. All right. It's definitely something different. And to be completely honest with you, I did not expect this coming into NBA 2K25. So if you're someone that did not expect dribbling to be like this, then you're somebody that needs help dribbling. All right. So if you need help dribbling, make sure you guys watch this whole video through. All right. I'm going to show you guys how to do everything. I'm going to show you guys tips and tricks on how to get open. But without further ado, enough talking. Let's get straight into the video. What's good, guys? It's rising today, man. In this banger video, man. As y'all can see from the thumbnail and the title, I'm going to be giving you guys the best dribble tutorial in NBA 2K25 as well as the best drum moves all right so i'm gonna do it all in one video so you guys don't have to wait all right so this is my six four point guard i'm gonna be also doing a tutorial on my six six point guard and then i'm also gonna be giving you guys every drum move for every height all right to the best of my ability all right so if you guys enjoyed this video drop a like without further ado let's get straight into it all right so first off what i'm gonna show you guys is i'm gonna show you guys my drum moves right away because i'm gonna get straight into the tutorial all right so these are my dribble moves for my 6-4. All right, dribble style is Darius Garland. Signature size up is Trey Young. Regular breakdown combos, De'Aaron Fox. You guys kind of get the gist, just copy all these moves. And there's a reason why you guys are gonna wanna copy all these moves because these moves are literally so good together. It's just absolutely insane, all right? So if you guys want my jump shot, I posted a video on that yesterday. So make sure you guys go check that out. And I also put a ton of other jump shots for every build and height as well as position. So if you guys wanna, you know what I'm saying, get a jump shot, my jump shot video was yesterday all right all right so obviously you guys are going to want to go to the my court all right now kind of the suck that they don't give us the personal workout like they did last year where there was unlimited stamina but it is what it is all right so first the one thing that i'm going to show you guys is how to actually speed boost now this build has a 92 ball handle and an 86 speed with ball all right i would use russell westbrook's dribble style if you have an 87 speed with ball it's obviously better than darius garland but darius garland works really good as well all right so the first thing that i'm going to show you guys is how to you know what i'm saying basic speed basic speed boost all right so in order to do this if the ball's in your right hand as long as you guys have the same moves on as me make sure you guys copy the moves all right as long as you have the same moves on everything will work out the same way that i'm telling you all right so if the ball's in your right hand you guys are going to want to flick the right stick to the left diagonally up without holding turbo as soon as the ball switches into the other hand you guys are literally going to want to hold turbo and hold the left stick towards the left to run to it all right and you're going to get that animation all right, a lot of people don't say this is speed boosting, but literally you can get open just by doing that. All right, so that's one of the speed boosts. The next speed boost that I'm going to show you guys is the sidestep or like the, you know what I'm saying, hezzy speed boost kind of thing. Um, it's from NBA 2K22. I used to do it a lot, and this is pretty much what it looks like right there. And it actually works very good. Like when you're comboing up and you just want to get past somebody, you can use this. So in order to do this, all you guys have to do is hold R2. Flick the right stick to the same side ball hand and then just sprint to that same side ball hand. And you guys will get that animation right there. And it's honestly very, very good. You just can't use it every single time. But it is very good if you guys want to just create separation and get to the basket very fast. So the next move that I want to show you guys is the Darius Garland uh, behind the back. And it's honestly the best one in the game. So make sure you guys put that on. All right. So what you guys are going to want to do to activate these behind the back. All right. Is you guys are going to want to just head to the same side. So in order to do that, literally just do the move I just taught you. And then just flick the right stick down down to the opposite ball hand and then just literally you'll get the animation so it looks like that all right that's the darius garland beyond the back and there is a way to spin this which i can show you guys how to do it real quick so in order to do this you basically do that same thing you just spam it all right so so you instead of you flicking down once you just flick down twice all right so if the ball's in your right hand you guys are just going to want to hezzy you guys are just going to want to flick the right stick diagonally down to the left while holding turbo and then just flick it down once again real fast and then flick it back to the right all right so i wouldn't recommend spamming this more than twice because it's gonna literally drain your stamina like you're literally gonna have an asthma attack after you spam it more than twice all right the next move that i want to show you guys is the curry escape move this is probably one of the most you know what i'm saying overpowered moves in the game 
or it just creates a ton of separation so in order to do this if the ball is in your right hand you guys are going to want to hold r2 and flick the right stick diagonally up to the left all right and vice versa for uh you know what i'm saying going back to the right but sometimes you will get that crossover right there but most of the time in game you guys will get that that's why you guys just got to make sure you have adrenaline all right because if you guys don't have adrenaline it's literally not going to do the move that good all right and if it even does somebody's probably going to rip you all right so now that we got some moves down i'm gonna show you guys the zach levine snatch back or step back in order to do this all you guys have to do is if the ball is in your right or left hand you guys are going to want to hold r2 and flick down on the right stick and you guys will get this animation right here and honestly bro this creates a ton of separation if you guys see in the beginning of the intro clips bro this literally is probably one of the best moves in the game as well as Darius Garland and Steph Curry's escape moves, all right? They are literally the best in the game, all right? All right, so the next move that I'm going to show you guys is John Morant's aggressive breakdown combo. So pretty much in order to do this, all you guys have to do is if the ball is in your right or left hand, you just hold R2 and flick up on the right stick, and you guys will get this animation right here. And you guys could literally combo up with this so good, like literally just go crazy with it. I ain't going to lie, like it is very easy to combo up with. You know what I'm saying? And it's one of the best moves in the game um, if you know how to dribble with it properly. All right, so the next move I'm going to show you guys is a little combo that I kind of, you know what I'm saying, use um, from time to time if I'm trying to get by somebody or get open. So pretty much, it's basically the Trey Young speed boost, but then you, you know what I'm saying, go up between your legs after. So that's what it looks like right there. And you could literally combo up with this as well. So in order to do this, if the ball's in your right hand without holding turbo, you guys are going to want to flick the right stick to the opposite ball hand and then literally flick it back diagonally down to the other one and then just sprint out of it. Or you guys can combo up with it as well like you literally don't have to you know what i'm saying do it the same way i do it but it is going to create a good amount of separation if you guys can catch somebody off guard with it all right so now getting into the more advanced moves for this video okay today i'm going to show you guys the l2 cancel and the quick stop all right those are the tools i'm going to show you guys um honestly i don't even know how to do that 720 spin low key um but it is what it is i'm just going to show you guys the l2 cancel that's hard enough to explain itself so in order to do the l2 cancel basically what you guys are going to want to do if the ball is in your right hand you're going to want to speed boost to one side so the opposite obviously and basically once you guys speed boost to that side you're going to want to just hold l2 like pretty much just speed boost sprint hold l2 you're going to get a post up animation now once you get that post up animation that's pretty much stopping you from doing any move all right so once you guys get that down so literally just practice that all right just practice doing that okay you guys will literally learn it from that um that's gonna basically get you guys used to tapping l2 it's gonna get you guys used to a lot of stuff okay so once you guys tap l2 it is a little bit different from nba 2k24's l2 cancel all right what you guys are gonna want to do you're gonna want to tap l2 or hold it for a split second while you're holding it you know how you run to the left to like move your stick to run you're gonna want to keep holding your left stick to that side that you sprint to or speed boost too you're gonna want to flick the right stick back to the right while still holding turbo but before a little bit before you flick it to the right you're gonna want to let go of l2 all right so it's pretty hard to explain and then once you let go of l2 you're gonna want to just move the left stick back to the right to sprint back to the right all right and then vice versa for you know what i'm saying going to the um left so it's the same thing literally and to be honest with you you really just gotta sit here and lab up with this move because i still don't have it completely down like there is some times where i will get a slow l2 cancel instead of the fast one but then there is some times where i will get a fast l2 cancel so it's all you know what i'm saying just practice 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 i promise you that is one of the most important things when dribbling is to just sit in my court for a couple hours a day if you really want to get this down sit in my court for a couple hours a day or go to the uh art of shooting facility or chris brickley's gym and literally just try to dribble try to learn moves try to watch youtube dribble tutorials and stuff like that i'm telling you that is going to be your biggest thing that is going to help you guys dribble all right all right so the next and final move for this video that i'm going to be showing you guys is the hezzy quick stop all right there is multiple other ways to do it but the hezzy quick stop is the most effective one and it's the most consistent one because when you guys do the l2 one or you just let go of everything to quick stop it's gonna make you fade like when you let go of everything you literally will more than likely get it by accident without even knowing that you're quick stopping so most of the time when you guys are quick stopping with you know l2 and um obviously that's the uh, l2 one right there 
it pretty much just stops you. You guys can use whichever one you guys want. But to be honest with you, the Hezzy Quick Stop is the best one. So in order to do this, you guys don't have to change any drill moves or nothing. You literally just run to one side and then you just Hezzy. So in order to Hezzy, obviously to Hezzy, you guys don't use turbo. You just flick to the same side ball hand. And that's a Hezzy right there. But all you guys are gonna want to do is sprint. You guys are just gonna want to let go of turbo for a second, um, Hezzy, and then just shoot immediately. So sprint. Hezzy green all right very simple very easy okay one of the easiest and most effective quick stops in nba 2k25 now i ain't gonna lie bro this is one of the most overpowered moves like you can literally stop at a dime like literally speed boost uh, green like it is just so good i ain't gonna lie to y'all it's probably one of my favorite moves to use um so make sure you guys you know what i'm saying use this move it is very good but i hope you guys enjoyed this video Make sure you guys drop a like if you guys haven't already. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to put you guys on. Um, I'm going to basically give you guys my 6-6 six, six drill moves. All right. And you could do all of these same moves um, pretty much with that. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to give you guys them drill moves. And then I'm going to give you guys some other drill moves that are for any height and any build. And yeah. All right. So this is on my 6-6 six, six build right here. All right. These are my drill moves right here. And a lot of them are pretty similar. You guys still get that Zach Levine step back. And the Kobe escape moves are very good on this move as well. Um, and to be honest with you, you can do most of the same moves the same ways. They're obviously different because you're a lot taller. But um, yeah, so for the last and final six, um, for a 6-10 to 7-3 is going to be Dribble Style, Paulo Banchera, Signature Size Up, Kevin Durant, Regular Breakdown Combo, Giannis Antetokounmpo, um, aggressive breakdown combo, Kevin Durant. Escape moves, Kevin Durant. Combo moves, Kevin Durant. Crossover, Paulo Banchera. Beyond the back, pro. Spin, basic. Um, hesitation, KD. And then step back is Giannis once again. Obviously, it's more of a KD, you know what I'm saying, type of build. So, of course, you're going to have a lot of Kevin Durant signature styles considering he has seven foot and he can actually dribble. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this video helped you guys out a lot. Thank you guys for the recent support, but I'll see you guys in the next video.